Hey folks, Remo here. Good news, we are out on my very first Mudrunner Expeditions mod map right now. We are currently in the Con Marshall, the Mudrunner Expeditions version of this truck. Gotta say, I was one of the lucky few that had a chance to get into this a little bit early and a huge thanks to the dev team for letting us get at the modding tools. There are a few of us that are going to have some stuff out here for you, if not currently on the pre-release. Uh, it'll be coming soon, I know that. You know, turned out things were pretty darn similar to the SnowRunner build, but there was a lot of new stuff to learn on both sides of the map modding and the vehicle modding. I know we've all probably read over the manual quite a few times, just getting an idea of, uh, of, of how to work through the new tools and the new way of doing things. For me as a map maker, building the map, virtually identical. Didn't have a lot of changes that way, we have some new assets, everything works pretty darn good I gotta say for a early mod editor to a brand new game things are in tip-top shape right now there's definitely some stuff that we're all working through and more will come as the game progresses but I can't really stress how happy I've been with the whole process and how the uh, the dev team has helped us all through learning the new stuff and any of the issues we've found in responses. It's just been absolutely incredible. And I again, I just want to say thank you for, uh, for giving us all the chance and being so conducive to helping us through issues and fixing things very promptly, especially when I know they've probably had a busy last at least month or so getting this game ready to go so all in all i've really enjoyed the experience it is different than snow runner we're in the snow runner world i personally find this game a little more simulation feel it is definitely a mix of mud runner and snow runner we're doing a lot more exploring, scouting tasks. It's actually been a, a quite a challenge to learn the new method of how we're doing things. It's quite a bit different than SnowRunner. Best way I can explain it is this game is um, as much about getting there as it is completing the task you're doing. And it's been a lot of fun. It's I've, I've enjoyed the new take on it, and I think there's going to be a lot more ideas for us all to come to once we have a little more experience in the game. Now, this map is a 44 by 44. Here you can see we're just going for a little rip in the drone, which is kind of a neat feature with this new game. I've worked one task into using the drone, still learning all these little nuances and there are things that aren't functioning yet so keep that in mind when you're playing with any of the mods that we're putting out and really the game in general this is the release you know with these games they will stay around for years there's going to be more content added and we all just we're, we're working through so I would not consider this map done certainly because not all the features are there yet and we'll keep adding to it I started with a small map just really sheerly because I knew how much time we had till release and I wanted to have something that uh, all you players could get out on and play and I know some of the vehicle modders took the same tact as they've started more complicated projects but there are some fairly simple ones that are going to be ready for for go time here but as i said we if this was snow runner and you gave me a month i could come up with a heck of a map for you but being expeditions and having to learn everything 
new with the game and how things work. It's, it's just not as quick of a process. I've had the map built for, geez, a couple weeks basically now with, I've been fine tuning it over the days and stuff as I play, but all in all, it didn't take long to build the actual physical map. It's been working through the contracts and all the new features and learning all that kind of stuff and I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it once we all figure it out. Now it's just going to be up to balancing my time between the two games. Uh, the last, what, definitely few weeks I've been working on this behind the scenes. So I've been really double dipping here on different maps trying to keep things going on both sides and that's kind of why I spent the time putting the highway hauling to region together because it wasn't as much building it was just doing some some uh, inputting of all the tasks and that so I could kind of hop in and out of it as we please but I, I've spent a tremendous amount of time reading through the manuals on this and trying things and failing and just learning all the new places you want to input and even just coming up with new ideas for tasks this is not a game where you're going to take something from a to b every single time you're not dealing with a, a lot of roads which was a new way to build for me although i kind of made a hybrid you'll see it's just more of an exploration and you're off on your own and you're trying to survive and it's a definitely a, a neat feel. I tried to work into this map, you'll see, and you noticed it was called the islands. I guess I should talk about it a bit, as we've actually got four different islands that are connected by sandbars that you can find. I thought it might be a nice way to use the, uh, the echo location water depth feature that's in the game. Basically, you're, you are going to be doing some take this to this area to build it. Again, a bunch of the, some of the features just don't work yet and the devs will get to it as soon as they get past this main release and then we can start adding more to the, to the worlds, but you're going to have a lot of exploration. You're going to use the drone and stuff to check out paths it's not something you're going to use constantly but it is a neat feature and i think like i said we're going to learn to work it in a lot more than our first few renditions here it's just learning it's it's a whole new experience it really is like i said it's set in the same world it feels more simulation based when it drives uh, I'm working on right now, there's things that you can discover with the binoculars and I'm still kind of working out how to make it function properly. Seems to work sometimes, not all the time. Could just be the new game uh, stuff we're dealing with as the programs, it's, it's going to evolve over time and things get fixed up. This is fairly, I, I know where the crossing is here, I put it in. There's areas that look like you can get through. There's spots that are easier to get through. I'm pretty sure this one isn't too deep for the tall snorkel. But I thought it would kind of add a nice bit of fun to exploring in the expeditions the universe. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you get a if if you have the early access, get out on the game and after you play a bit of the main game and get a feel for it feel free to hop on this map and give me any tips and ideas you can see here we're using the air pressure feature on the tires and I will warn you it took me a few fails before I realized it the more you air the tires down the slower you have to go or you get the same kind of damage as leaving your diff lock on so now we have two things they can give us some uh, fairly significant damage if you don't remember to turn it back to the normal settings. I do find that it, especially on the rock models, it's the airing down of the tire seems to give you quite a bit more traction. Just switch back to 
a little brighter experience. We don't need to be running around at night time. I haven't actually had this truck out yet. I just finally tried it for the video. I've been mostly running around in the Warthog and the Lodestar. And I've put a good few hours into the main game. Definitely enjoyed it. It, it takes a while to get the hang of what you're doing with the tasks and then like I'm I'm playing it but I'm trying to get an idea of what the dev team wants this game to be because we obviously have to conform in some shape or form on it. So it's been a, it's been a nice balance of, of trying to figure out what kind of tasks will be fun with the new play style because again it, it's totally different. You, you, you're not hauling around trailers and I mean there's going to be people that absolutely love it and people that you probably won't enjoy it as much, but it's the same with SnowRunner. It's just, this is full scouting, and I can't wait to see what kind of mod trucks come out with this, because in all reality, we can do just about anything with this game, just like the first SnowRunner version, right? It's just not as much hauling. I know there's a marker for the crossing that we're going to be heading over to the next island on. I was just trying to see if the binoculars would pick it up. The way I set it up, it should. I don't know if it's a distance thing. Like I say, it could just be growing pains right now. But again, we're all learning and lots of patience. And the game, I mean, you can see it's running pretty good. We got things on... on uh, on high settings there's the marker I was trying to find you can see it's not putting out the right name could be me could be the game not too sure yet something that will fix as we go and again I, I started with a half size map just because you never know what's gonna happen if things change I know we only had X amount of time because we all wanted to try and have something ready to go for day one for everyone to play around with. Try a, a little bit of the airing down the tires here and you can see it does give the vehicle a little more traction to get over the rock models. So far I've been actually quite happy with the friction of rock climbing. It's, it's better than Snow Runner for sure. Again, this is a great example of you don't have roads. There's going to be fairly obvious ways to go or paths of least resistance. But all in all, you're spending a lot of time, you know, using the drone to maybe scout out which way you want to go. I've kind of laid in these light little, not roads, but you can see a bit of a path to give you an idea of generally getting to places but as with the uh, uh, vanilla maps I've tried to put some of the objectives off even the more the noticeable path so you spend a lot of time just trying to figure out where the heck to go and how to get there and what to bring inventory wise it's a lot more logistic I would say in terms of what you want to keep an eye on, what you need to bring, what kind of space you have. Upgrading your truck is a lot more significant in this game and we're not leveling up. We're, we're just basically trying to build up the right vehicles to haul what you need and certain like scouts can't hold things that large trucks can. So again, it's going to evolve as we all play the game and learn the game. You'll notice back there I put the tire pressure up because even if you're on the second middle setting and you go full speed you'll get tire damage. And this isn't like a garage somewhere close like Snow Runner. You got to be a little more mindful of what you carry and what you, what you do out there you'll get lost. You can see the name's not right on this one again. I know this has a bit of mud and there are some deeper holes 
This is the the water depth finder, and I think as you level up, I haven't got that far in the game, it'll give you a wider area. This is, I use clear water, so it's a little bit easier to see than I may have guessed when I built it, but you know what I was trying to do here. Just hope all in all everyone has fun on the new game, and just keep in mind it's all a learning experience. I've been kind of itching to do a bit of a island map. It all kind of started with the new rock models is what uh, what gave me this idea to start on this map and I these ones you can make a little bit bigger and they still keep their friction so you get a lot more done quicker. And then I just kind of decided two of the island two of the four islands are rocky islands and two are more sand and uh, hill climbs and stuff, so it kind of gives you a mix. Run out of beach there. Wasn't looking where I was going. One thing that, that does, a little bit sad right now with the uh, mod maps, but I know it'll be fixed soon. I know we're not top priority and I don't expect us to be, but I can't actually put in like inventory pickup zones so when you bring things to a map you can store them in this inventory and you can get fuel and parts. That function just doesn't work right now and it will very soon. I know I know it will. Uh, so with the mod map right now you're going to have to make sure you bring a, a truck loaded up with some parts and fuel. A little extra so you can basically I can't do the airdrops and the inventories and all that that are on the vanilla maps right now I'll, I'll have them in eventually so it, it's just one of those things that bring a little extra fuel and parts with you and again this is a half size map the next one I'll do will be full size so it's not quite as expansive as one of the vanilla maps. So fuel shouldn't be quite as much of an issue, although I just ran out there a minute ago. When you get these things fully kitted out, you can actually carry a fair bit of stuff on most of them. When you get the roof racks and the bumpers usually have a fuel or repair parts slot. Here we have a pretty hefty rock climb I put in here. And again, you'll see the, the, the rock climbing is a little more realistic. Personally, the uh, vanilla trucks I find, and it was a lot the same in SnowRunner, is uh, their steering's a little bit slow. So it makes it a little tougher doing this kind of stuff. I know the mod trucks will be a little different, and we'll get uh, folks like Mr. Bus is doing some of the, the famous tweaks, make everything that little bit different. And I get why the, the trucks are built like this. It really does lend itself to the game and the way it plays. But personally, I like a little little quicker steering. Suspension-wise and stuff, everything seems to have like crawling suspensions. They've really made the trucks a lot more uh, capable off-road. All of them. So they have adapted a lot. It, it may be the same engine and same build and stuff that way, but they have changed a significant amount in how the game feels and plays. This is uh, one of the tougher spots. We got a big rock step coming up, up further ahead too, so... Tried to keep things... Oh, here we go. We're heading down the hill. And I'm going to be honest with you, this uh, this didn't go quite as easily as I would have thought. So what we're going to do is you can just have a quick giggle while we fast forward a, a few more tries at this and some pretty obvious fails.
Okay, we are finally up the hill. So, just to let you know, I'm not a professional. I may build the things, doesn't mean I know how to drive them. So myself, I've added a, a bunch of, uh, there, there's some, some weather stations, there's, there's a few different tasks. I think I've got 10 or 11 so far that I can work in without the missing stuff that'll keep you running around the map, exploring, hauling a few things here and there. I think I'm going to have two truck recoveries, so we still got that kind of stuff. It's, like I said, it's the same, but very different. And I think the game itself is going to evolve quite a bit as we get our hands on it and the devs add more features. And I mean, even the uh, the, the models in the editor for like buildings and rock, there, there's pretty minimal stuff right now, but again, very first iteration of this game coming out so there is not the repository that I would build a highway hauling with with all the buildings and all the little things that stuff's not in this game and it's not the way this game's going to be you're out in the middle of nowhere hence why I thought this kind of uh, tropical feeling island scenario might be kind of fun to run around on a little bit it's a lot of fun to build and the new engine just looks a little bit sharper than Snowmart Runner. The, the grass is a little bit fuller spawning. It's uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with the look so far. And again, I've only played with this map. I haven't tried anything else. I've been fully focused on this for the whole time we've had access to the game. After I put a couple hours into playing and just got an idea of what the heck we were doing in this thing. And I have a couple more things that I kind of got to finish up, but I do, uh, I do look forward to hearing any suggestions or ideas you have and what you want to see in this game once you've been out and have an idea what it's all about. More than anything, appreciate you watching. Look forward to what we're going to come up with in this new Expeditions game. And I'm going to be sticking with SnowRunner, don't worry. I have to split up our time. Thanks for watching.